What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Building a door and building a new lid for Gomera's house because it's supposed to get like 40 degrees in like three days at night. So I'm trying to insulate her house a little bit better. So we're making this into a lid. And then the same thing I did with that high box over there where it's like the redwood slabs all smacked together. That's what I'm doing right there. So yeah, I'm getting, I'm gonna take off that door and get that done. First, I'm gonna take this off and see what I got to clean. And then we got two more bags of hay over there for her bedding. And then Miss Desiree, who's also over there, is going to be in here. It's gonna be her temporary place because I already talked it over. We're basically gonna fence this in, fence all of this in. That way Desiree can roam this, so can Gomera. I'll probably throw some cement along the edge so they can't dig out. But basically I'm gonna make it so Desiree can roam this with Gomera. And we don't have to worry about crows or raccoons or rats picking at her. So this will be all housed together. And yeah, so I'm starting getting to work. Gotta unscrew all this stuff right here. And yeah. So you guys up on the tripod so you guys can see what I'm doing along the way. And let's get to work. these boards off. See what damage we got. gotta go so I can clear this out and then when I have the lash like that yeah I know what to do this board's gonna go ba <laughs> What are you doing? Making your house better. So I definitely need to get some stuff to start clearing this out. A whole lot of spider webs. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see or not, there's a whole lot of spider webs that I gotta clean up. Then I gotta lay the new thing of bedding in here. And she's just over here messing with my legs and my feet and seeing what's going on. You need that. Look how she uses that neck to extend to reach up. 
No, you don't want any? No, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the necessary tools to clean out this area. And then I gotta go in and take, oh yeah, there's poop in there too. That's probably why you're not sitting on the side. All right, I got a bunch of cleaning to do. I'll be right back one second. All right, so we got our hay right here. Got all the poop out. Got it all nice and cleaned up in there. Let's go Mary's in there, as you guys can see. About to fill up all this bedding. And then I, oh, before I forget, I'm gonna open this to remind myself, don't put all of it in there. Some of it needs to go in there for Miss Desiree. Does that work? Can you guys see? Kind of, maybe, not really. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Gamera, you're about to get a bunch of bedding on top of your face, little lady. Funny part is, when I was cleaning this out, I was expecting to find like rats and stuff. There are no rats in here. Pretty cool. I might be able to save a bag. I didn't realize I got this much. Stuff the rest of the bag in. There we go. All right. So that's done. And I got a whole, whole extra bag. That's in there, and this is in here. So so much more. So. I have a bin in the shed that I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to grab the board. Just see how that's going to fit there. I'll put you guys back on the trap hold. Right there. BRB. So, uh, let's see how this fits. Push the lid off a little bit. Flush. That should work. Alright. I'm gonna go grab the knife, clean up a little bit, and then I'll see how this I get this all situated. A couple hinges there, a lock here, and a handle there. And yeah. Be back in a second. So come here, Cam, check out my progress. And I would say it's looking pretty good. That comes down here. And then this is the handle. This is the latch. Doing. 
I think this one, I'm probably gonna end up screwing right here. Let the latch come down. Is that, maybe, maybe not. Or I might have to go grab a whole completely different one. This might not have been the one I needed. Much is like that. Uh, I know what this is for. This. That's stupid. Yep, I go around the wrong lock. Well, that's fine. I need to get some of the wood anyways and re-insulate the space so that it closes firmly on this side and on that side. So that's not surprising. But I still gotta make the door. I'll make this little handle. Yeah, I'll put this handle in first. And then I'll be on to making the door. And then I might either run back to the store and get a lock today, or I might wait till till tomorrow because the drivers right now are they don't know how to drive. That's all I gotta say. There's other words I would like to say, but I can't say this one on YouTube, so but yep. So I'm gonna put this handle on, start screwing in the door over there, and then get this all unattached and get this thing going the way it needs to be going. See you guys in a second. So I love realizing that I was not filming, but basically I finished this door. And I was gonna make sure it fit, and I was like, why isn't it sitting perfectly? Duh, because these are right here. But it lines up perfectly the way I want it. Snug as a bug on a rug. I may adjust these top two so they're flush with these ones all right here. But for the most part, yeah, it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna bust off these, put the new latches on, get this mounted right here, take these off as well, mount them up front, and that. And then also, can't forget the handle. Take the handle off. Gotta do that as well. And that's the job for the day. Let's go, Mara. Let's dig yourself a little hole over here. But yep. Gonna get that going. And then where she's digging all of that, all that area, on the corners and stuff, are gonna be cemented in. So she can't dig past. Well, this will also be, when I make that enclosure I was telling you guys about, there'll be a doorway right here. So like I said, we'll open it up. She can roam the whole backyard as long as someone's keeping an eye on her. Well, yeah, what are you doing? She's like, I'm not doing nothing. You see nothing, it's just my one arm. All right, back to work. All right, so everything is finally, <clears throat> everything's finally done. Desiree moved into here, since all our hay is right there. That enclosure is probably gonna get destroyed, or this is gonna get extended over this way. We'll find out when we get there for that point. But as of today's project, getting the latch, latch door here like i said i still have to get a couple pieces of wood and fill that space in fill this space in so it's flush so and then i'm probably gonna put uh what's it called those uh shingles put some kind of shingle right here so the water slides off it doesn't sit on the wood and doesn't make it rot or anything like that and then this latch works now as you can see can't open it probably gonna reinforce that side as well get a latch for this maybe maybe not i don't know it's mainly to keep like raccoons out and stuff and raccoons don't really mess with gomera and then for this latch it's gonna sit a little weird because it's got to get used to literally just sit there we go and that locks like that and bam it's done. I'll probably literally just grab a little sawn edge off this little bit right here so it fits a little bit flusher. What the heck? Well, Gamera's 
high box pretty much is done besides the shingles and then this desiree is now up here and yeah i just gotta clean up everything put the hail in the shed clean up my mess yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe smash that like button hit the bell notification comment something down below share this with all your friends i will see y'all later and then next one you guys are probably going to see may no i won't say that for december we might get some more turtles we might not i got a snail pond over here i got a crayfish pond over there my name's thomas i'll see y'all later peace